Trill Chronicles, where Trill ones get heard. Hey, right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Trill Chronicles. Where Trill ones get heard. As always, it's your boy Alex G. I got my man Eddie on the camera, and today I got No Limit Now. What's up, bro? Yes, sir. How you doing? Man? How's life? How's 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 life going for you, bro? Life always sucks, but it's good today. I love Damn, it. the realism straight from the jump. The realism right yeah. there. So let the people know how old are you and where you from, man. Uh, I'm 20. I'm from Southeast San Diego. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I can say. Damn, how was it like? Damn, man, just Southeast San Diego. Yeah. How was it I'm like? Bang. So. Yeah. How was it like growing up in there? Uh, I was broke the whole time. So. God. It was a poor family growing up, so it was kind of, it was kind of triff. But uh, you know, we, we, my mom made it happen, so. Niggas good now. Look at me now. Hello. Bro, shout out moms, bro. Yeah, shout out moms. Also, that's our camera, bro. That's the face. Oh, that's, that's the camera. No, that's your face shot right there. And oh, then right okay, here is okay. where they get us. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so okay. go ahead. Let the people know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's no limit out, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at us. We're, we're trill. We're, we're trill today. We're trill today. So how um how was it like getting into music? How did you oh, get shit. into it? So I started my nigga Sonny. Shout out my nigga Sonny. That's the longest relationship I ever had with somebody as a friend. Yeah. Everybody else is weird. Mm -hmm. Except for mine, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it started really in the, it was just in his bedroom on the speaker, uh, just like freestyling and recording on SoundCloud when they had an option to record on SoundCloud. On the phone and stuff yeah, like on that. on the phone, Bro. on the speaker. Right, yeah. yeah that dude, shit was, was lit. Saying some bullshit. I had a song called SpongeBob Freestyle. Hey, SpongeBob go hard, though, bro. Yeah, and, and that shit went hard, though. But, nigga, that's where I really, like, started, like, uh, actually writing music. Yeah. I didn't really start recording until I was, like, 17. Mm. You feel me? I feel like uh, I got a name for myself pretty decently fast. Yeah. You know saying? Niggas fuck with me, and I wasn't really doing it that long. There's a lot of niggas out here who've been rapping a long time, and, and they still don't got no noise. Facts. And by the way, if that's you, you're ass, my nigga, you need to stop. Damn, bro. Just straight like that? Yeah, straight like that. So how did it feel when you first got your first, like, a hundred plays and stuff like that. How did oh, that hundred plays? A hundred plays didn't feel good enough for me. Five hundred plays didn't feel good enough for me. Right. Because I saw other niggas. Not no jealousy shit, but just like I want to. I want to make sure I'm doing the same shit as bro. Mm -hmm. Another nigga from San Diego. I need to make sure my views is on par with him at least. Right. So I never saw five hundred views. I saw uh, the way it started actually. Like what I used to post on Instagram a lot is. Yeah. I need a band. For me to drop the next song, I need at least a thousand plays. So oh, my first yeah, song, yeah. I needed a thousand plays before I dropped another one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, with that, bro, yeah, that's really how it started. How does it feel though? Like um, you get like a lot of plays and a lot of likes, and people comment. And like me, for example, I hit you up like, "Yo, bro, I gotta get you through." How does that make you feel? That shit makes me feel good. Like when niggas like notice me or or they listen to my music. Like the most recent thing that happened, it's not nothing big, but. The homie was just with his homie chilling at yeah. his pad. Nigga was playing my music. So he sent me a video. He's like, this nigga's playing you. I'm like, yeah. what? This nigga, you feel me? He don't know yeah. me at all, and he's playing my shit. You feel me? Hey, a dub's a dub, man. Hell, a dub's a dub. A dub, a dub is a dub for yep. sure, man, for sure. So how is your writing process like when you're in the studio? Do you freestyle mm. your shit? You write your shit? So I write my shit before I go to the studio, mm -hmm. depending on the beat. Yeah. If the beat is a little slower, I'll probably like freestyle, write a little bit. I'll probably write a little bit, then freestyle off the, the written part. Yeah. You feel me? But uh, niggas write everything. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. How I try to make sure it sounds good on the beat, at the right part of the beat. Mm -hmm. You know, there's different parts of a beat. There's a whole lot of shit going on with the beat. So niggas got to make sure that when they write it, it matches to the beat perfectly. So like, mm -hmm. it's it's catchy. What's your mindset in going into the studio? Are you like, bro, I'm about to... Burn this bitch down right now. I'm gonna be honest. That's that's super confidence. That is. Super I'm gonna confidence. burn this bitch down right now. It depends on the song, bro. Some songs I'd be like, nigga, what? I'm finna kill this shit. But then certain yeah. shit I'd be like, we're gonna have to really make sure. I'm gonna have to really make sure I I say this shit right or this shit right to make sure that the song comes out good. Yeah. You feel me? I don't I don't go in super uh, confident. I try to be humble because at mm. the end of the day, I'm not I'm not the best rapper out here. Right. I'm a rapper trying to make it. So Ooh. I'm not, you feel me? Yeah, that's so real. you gotta have a humbleness about yourself. Uh, exactly. And know you're not the best mm -hmm. and you need to have that mentality. So what inspires you to just keep getting better and like go hard? Shit, bro. Uh, I just I, I got a lot of uh I got a lot of people I wanna take care of in my life. Mm -hmm. Uh I wanna make sure everybody's straight and I also have a passion for music. I just love making music. Facts. On a different note, I'm an Aquarius, so Whoa. I just like music. Yeah. You feel me? So I love <laughs> the horoscopes is real. The horoscopes, the horoscope, they real, real, they real. My man said I'm, the horoscopes is real. So like, like I that, just, bro. I love music, and since I love music, 
I feel like uh, as a as as a man, nah, nah, fuck that. Not as a man, as a person. Facts. Whatever you like, we're all human. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Whatever you like, make the best of it. Yeah. If I feel like I can have a promising rap career and make bands mm-hmm. from it, then I'm gonna take care of my family doing what I love, and that's that's the beautiful thing about it. So niggas want to do that. I want to like blow up and take care of everybody. That's true. Yeah. That's straight up that's true. True. Yeah, that's true. That's straight up true right there. True. So Hell no like. limit, Navo. How long you been no limit? Shit, bro. Damn. My I went through a lot of <laughs> I went through a lot of usernames. Oh, okay. It was yeah. real now. Uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is real questions now. Now yeah, so how'd you get your uh shit. how'd you get your name and stuff? I was really, bro, I was just, you know, I'm an overthinker. Yeah. One night I was I was a uh, actually I think I was I think I was playing Clash Royale. Nigga. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be real. I think I was playing Clash Royale. Yeah. And niggas just to close the app. Looked at the ceiling and start thinking like, shit, bro. I don't, I don't really, I don't really like just Navo. Yeah. So I want to add something to it, but I'm yeah. like, what, what fits me? Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, bro, I feel like I got no limit. I feel like me as a human being, I could do anything that another human being could do, which on a human level, yeah, is no limit. So I want to be able to say that I could do things without a limit. I want to be limitless. I want to reach for the stars. Damn, that's some good mindset right there, bro. Because oh, a lot of people, like, they don't realize their biggest critic or their biggest barrier is themselves. Oh, God, that's really what it is. What the that's fuck? Real. Nobody else can really keep you that. Exactly, bro. If you want to do something, go ahead and fucking do it. Like, yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. be like, nah, I, I'll do it tomorrow and stuff like that. But, hey, that's pretty, that's fucking strong right mm-hmm. there, bro. You watch football or anything? <sighs> basketball a little bit. You watch basketball? Basketball's about sport. Ever play basketball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used yeah, to play at Patrick Henry. Were you nice? <sighs> Nigga, what? I'm the best. Don't tell me. Yeah, because you tall. You got a pretty decent height. And yeah, it would yeah, maybe yeah. be like, bro, you better not be trash. Because some people are tall yesterday. for no reason, bro. I was just hooping yesterday. I was cooking niggas. You were cooking them? Niggas look at me. They think like they think like I, I can't shoot for some reason. I don't know what it is. Me, Steph Curry with the three? No. Hell no. Nah. Uh, <laughs> what you mean? You be shooting? Who I'm you be me shooting with like? the three, but I be, oh. shoot, I be shooting like a veteran, though. Mm. Niggas hey, can't guard me. On the cool, bro, Banco said he nice with it, too. So Banco, you, you can get that, my nigga. What the fuck? So we got, we might have to, you know, Detroit Chronicles might have to host a basketball tournament or something like that to settle this. Well, that would be big as fuck, bro. It like really a, would, bro. It like really a would. Detroit Chronicles event. Yeah, dog. have a bunch of rappers play against each bro, other. That's what I'm trying to do. What? Dog. Make sure you get you my know. nigga Javi in there and my nigga Bad Habits. What bro, the fuck? of course. Shout out Bad Habits and Javi, bro. Shout out them for pulling up. Bad Habits yeah. interview coming soon too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to be on the lookout for that. And yeah. and Javi, what? Javi oh, interview coming soon. My bad, Javi. We gonna get him an interview too. Bro, shit, my bad, Javi. You know. I'm saying but <laughs> yeah bro so like what are your goals with this music shit I already said it bro uh make this money and 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 do something i love while making money and take care of my family yeah that's all it is i love music i love i love hearing myself after i record and be like damn this shit's hard that's me nigga right like i i used to be in denial this shit's gonna sound super conceited mm-hmm. but i used to like listen to my music and be in denial but after i was ass yeah uh, i went through an ass phase okay but after i was ass, ass nigga, and i hear my shit like what the fuck, nigga? I'm hard yeah, as yeah, fuck, yeah. nigga. I, I love hearing myself on the track. Right. And it's like, nigga, I like doing that shit, and I would do it if I didn't get paid for it, regardless. Because I don't really get paid for it now. Right. Distro kid, a little ten bucks, twenty bucks every. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's not, it's really not nothing. Right. I just like making music. But you see the bigger picture and stuff. Like yeah, that. I see the bigger picture. I see what's possible and what it does for you and stuff. What it does for me and and people around me. Because cool. I never think about music like if I blow up. I did it myself. I'm like, nigga, what? Uh, everybody who's been in my life yeah. has something to do with like my my growing phase and 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 uh, how I grow out to be a man and shit. Mm-hmm. Everybody in my circle has something to do with that. Damn. I didn't have my dad around, so yeah. So uh, any nigga who's been in my life that's like older than me is like a father figure. Mm-hmm. Any any nigga who I call my brother who hasn't switched on me shows me what real nigga is, and it's like, bro, that's you feel me? Like uh, even though I feel like I'm a real nigga. I, I, I look at niggas and I am like the homies, I admire them. No homo. Yeah. I yeah, admire them. I'll be like, that's a real nigga. You feel me? Like like my nigga Javi, that's a real ass nigga, bro. Yeah. Like uh when I was like homeless and shit, bro, that's the only nigga who's like really like looking out for me and he was he was not Damn. he was not in the place either. Right. You feel me? You you don't care if I say anything, right? He was sleeping in a car and bro yeah. was still looking out for me. Damn, that's real as fuck. Yeah. It's hard to find people like that. Yeah, too. and that's what I'm saying. Like that's what that's what niggas aspire to be. Uh you, you got real people in your circle. Try to like learn from them. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, 
my my goal is to just just be that man and take care of everybody. Damn, that's true. Yeah, that's that's what's up, bro. And it's hard because a lot of family people, family blood. Sometimes they don't even look out for you. And shit. That's that shit, bro. How shit? Most of my family. Yeah. Preach, nigga. Uh, I I really my only my only direct family is my sister and my mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, they both love me dearly. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they're the only people who really like, like, uh, my whole life have taken care of me. Yeah. But like, I, I had nobody else, and I have a whole bunch of family. Right. I got like my whole dad's side. Yeah. I never really was tapped in with them like that. You feel me? Like, I fuck with some of my cousins now, but uh, shout out Lil Mouth and D Bagley. Shout out I fuck them. with some of my cousins now, but yeah. before. You feel me? It was like growing up, it wasn't, they was never around. It was just me, my mom, and my sister, and mm-hmm. my grandma mm-hmm. sometimes. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, bro. How do you feel about giving people their flowers? Because you know how you were like, no homo and shit like that. You know, sometimes you got to give the people who looked out for you. Yeah, I got to give them people, a shout out for yeah, sure. Bro. How for, do you feel? How do you feel though? Like a lot of other people might not think like that. You know what I'm saying? What's your advice to them? I've always, bro, I've, I've, I've just, especially lately, I've yeah. just started to realize that niggas is weird. Yeah, and I'm not. Yeah, so I just see niggas do weird shit, and, and and they see nothing wrong with it. Yeah, and it's like, well, I'm gonna shout out whoever has helped me out. Exactly, you know bro. Uh, that's the least I could do because isn't it free? Mm-hmm. I'm bro, shouting of out. Of course, free. Everything yeah, is free. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's free, like, nigga. Like what's a shout out, niggas who looked out for me? Bro, facts, it's free bro. as fuck. A lot of people hate for no reason too. Like that's I free get that too. a lot. I had a yeah. nigga. I had a nigga make a page. Uh, Dago shittiest rappers. What the fuck? Yeah, Dago shittiest rappers. I was the profile picture. This nigga edited me. He edited me next to a uh, t- some shit, some dookie, nigga. Damn, bro. Oh, what kind of time? A lot of people have a lot of time on their hands, bro. Oh, That's what I thought, really. Bro, That's they really I do. I was like, this nigga really... Nigga had to have an email to make the Instagram. Bro, yeah, probably yeah, made an yeah, Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? Like, he he took the time to get an editing app to edit me next to some shit. I wonder shit. if he chose a good picture of you, though, bro. You think he thought about I'm that? I'm not going to lie. I'm a sexy-ass nigga. <laughs> like the confidence? I'm like, what? I'm the sexiest nigga you've ever seen next to some, some doo-doo, nigga. Fuck like, doing? I made that shit look... Like shit, exactly, yeah, bro. Well, I think I made that shit look good. Damn, Hello. bro. So growing up, who did you listen to? Like, ooh, I li- oh, this is gonna sound cringy as fuck. But growing up, I listened to a lot of NBA YoungBoy. Yeah, that kind of does. That nigga, I be as feeling as well. that nigga. You really? even say some shit. Yeah. What is it about him that you just like? Yeah, bro. First of all, NBA YoungBoy is different. He's always had his own wave. That's when they Facts. sleep on. That is true. Niggas want to give Lil Wayne credit and Chief Keep credit for putting on the rap game, but. Who the fuck made me like NBA YoungBoy before him? I mean, that is a true point. So I used to listen to that nigga a lot, and and uh, I kind of stopped listening to him like probably when I was eighteen as much. Yeah, because I don't know. I just I like like uh, San Diego and uh, Sacramento shit more. Oh yeah, like you said. Um, so who else did you listen to? I'm pretty sure it wasn't just him in your playlist. Even though he got a lot like, of bangers. Like, are we talking like recently or? Just in general, bro. Like who? Like who do you listen to? And you're just like, damn, this shit's pretty. I listen fire. to uh, my you, nigga. S- you said Polo G. Polo G. Yeah. Off air, I yeah, listen to Polo G. I listen to F O E Javi. Dang, oh, that nigga's hard. He go hard, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's beast spinning. We're about habits. Uh, habits beast spinning. Bad habits. What that nigga bro, be saying? Some mob shit. This nigga bro. make me want to kill somebody. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, dog? Oh, I'm at church and then I hear a snippet and I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm about to be like, the fuck? I'm about to be like, oh man, let me get oh, out. Bro. Gotta yeah. pray for my demons to go away and shit. Yeah, oh god. Ain't trying to make no bad habits out here. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, bro. But who else, man? Who else? Shit, bro. Who else did I listen to really come? Uh, Who you listen to now? Besides just oh, I mean, shit, bro. <laughs> I'm not trying to be on no uh, shit, bro. I listen to I listen to J Bo. Oh, for real, bro. J Bo go hard, man. I listen to. I would have to look through my playlist, bro. Go I got ahead, a lot of got different type of shit. I'm not even gonna lie to you, niggas. I listen to country sometimes, bro. Country. But I like I like music. I yeah, bro. Yeah. He's like, man, I like my this ho- song. You know, uh, if anybody knows Avicii, that's my nigga. I've heard of that name. Avicii, Avicii he passed away. Yeah, he that's did. my yeah. nigga, bro. He had a song called Brother. And I used yeah. to listen oh, to that hey. shit to get emotional. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Hey, 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 brother. brother. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. You see, I told you. Yeah, that nigga's cold. That is a good that song, bro. Cold. That is a good song. Yeah. I don't even got a brother, but that makes me think of some shit. <laughs> shit, my, my playlist all fucked up, bro. I listen to all type of niggas. 
I'll really be showing love to um to like Dago niggas. Like shout out my nigga Trap and EC. Bro, Trap and EC, yup. Interview already gonna be out by yep. the time this I already seen that so shit. Like, that shit was cold. Bro, right? You think so? That nigga that nigga, that nigga Trap and EC put out Creed Danny, that shit was hard. Creed Danny, yep. Creed Danny then, stepping. Shit, bro. I'm just going through my recent listening history. I'll be listening to Mafia by D Spideys. Mm, yeah, Mafia. We gotta get him through, bro. Fighting Demons by uh Bad Habits. I'll be fighting those. A lot of Thug Life by FOEJ, my nigga Javi. Some Thule Trips, J Bo. Bro, what other country stuff you listen to? Is just that one? Um, so Avicii uh, and and Need to Breathe. Yeah, I've that's just how that. crazy. You fuck. putting me on that shit? Hell need yeah. to breathe. All capitals. That's how his name is. Need that's a breathe. Bit. I'm gonna have to check that out. Instead. That nigga's cold. So away from that, who are your uh, dream collabs? What are some dream collabs that you have? So to be honest, I'd be thinking about like I'd be like, oh, I want to make a song with Polo G someday, but yeah, me yeah. and him don't got the same style, hey, so man. that might not happen. But who knows? Cause cause Blueface be making collabs with niggas. Bro, who, it's music, bro. Yeah, you it's know music. What I'm really, yeah, you can hey, find something, bro. But, anything can happen. What about Adele? You don't Adele? know Adele? What? Bro, Adele go hard, dog. Nigga, what? I know a little. I know a few Adele songs. You know a few, bro. Yeah. Adele go. Hard. Yeah, bro. Yeah, she's she's, she's yeah. setting fire yeah. to the rain, yeah. bro. She be nice with the keys and stuff Hello? like that. Hey, you remember me? It's me. <laughs> yeah, it's just you see, hard. Bro, nigga. bro, Adele's fucking hard, dog. Hella. If I could get her on this show, bro, that'd be lit. Too. That'd, that'd be yeah, big bro, as fuck. That'd be for the culture, bro, in the future. For the culture. For the man. culture, bro. Yeah, that'd be lit. No, I'm good. No, I'm to be good. honest, they too. The celebrities too dick right and do some shit like. That. Oh yeah, bro. To you gotta be, be popping to get some shit with them, bro. But we starting out, you know what I'm saying? We got a good roster lineup of interviews on the way. Oh God, you got out. some cold shit what you doing, bro. Man. Exactly, but you know this is a no limit novel interview right now. Yeah, we're gonna keep, yeah, we're gonna keep yeah, it on you, bro. So I see you in the Crocs, bro. Yep, the SpongeBob's nigga. You fucking with Crocs? Heavy. I got two pairs. Two pairs? Yeah, I not got two one, pair. but two. I got two pairs. You feel me? Oh shit! Thanks, man. My man Eddie looking out for sure, bro. Shout out Eddie, bro. Shout out my cameraman Eddie. This nigga man. fucking up my interview, bro. He's like, oh. now I'm trying to put more more spotlight on you, bro. That's what you, you know. What I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, it's not enough. It's not enough. So, I heard you playing some unreleased shit on the way here. I'm gonna pass my nigga the body. I heard you playing some unreleased shit on the yeah, way. Yeah, some shit with bad habits. Damn, that shit cold, nigga. What's, what, what do we got in store for 2022? A whole lot of bangers. A whole lot of bangers. Hey, yeah, I got, I got some, nigga, I got some unreleased shit. It's the hardest shit I ever had. Yeah, it's way harder than the shit I dropped. How do you know a song's gonna be a banger? Cause I just know what's catchy to me. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I got that ear. I know when mm-hmm. some shit sounds hard, and I know yeah. when my shit's not hard. Right. I got a song I just recorded. I don't fuck with. I'm just gonna keep for myself. It's like, nigga, you gotta as a rapper, you gotta know what's hard and what's not hard. You gotta be right. able to accept that. Mm-hmm. So the shit I do have that's that is hard, nigga, is gonna the people are gonna be fucking with it. Do you feel like more uh people need to be real with themselves? Niggas are retarded, real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Niggas and Dago try to rap in their ass cheeks. How do you go about it? Like let's say the homie was trash, right? How do uh-huh. you go about being like, hey, bro? Give him criticism. You give him not tell criticism? Him, not tell him to not tell him to stop rapping, but give him criticism. Mm-hmm. Uh try to like tell them. I'm gonna be honest. I'd be straight up, but I don't fuck with that shit. Yeah, but uh, I don't really got no homies who ask at making music. What if that starts their origin though, like their villain origin? They're like fuck, I'm gonna get better and shit like yeah, that. You know, what what origin, you know what I'm saying? Anime and shit, they, they start getting better. They're like, you know, fuck, man, I'm I gotta get better and shit like that now. So what do you think about that? Like, like niggas getting better? Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. You never know. They might surprise you and stuff. As I said, niggas are weird. Yeah. They'll fuck around, blow up before me mm-hmm. on a one hit wonder type shit and be like, make a Dago banger. Everybody in Dago listening to it and they'll fuck around and be like, I don't fuck with bro no more. You feel me? Yeah. They, just, they just cut niggas off. You feel me? That's what mm-hmm. niggas do. Yeah. They get a little bit of clout, a little bit of a little bit of fame, a little bit of Hollywood, and they just start cutting niggas they off. Switch up and stuff like switch that. Switch up. Yeah. It couldn't be me. Never. The fuck? Nigga, I what? We're true around here. Yeah, we're trill, trill, trill exactly. as fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We trill, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, trill as fuck. I can, I, I can never switch up on somebody. That's, that's real just, as fuck, that's just bro. me. So you dropped Crunch Time recently? Oh yeah, you heard bro, that, that shit. That whole go hard, dog. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I was, I be bumping that shit early in the morning because I gotta wake up, and motivate myself. So I be like, oh, bro, that's that's my nigga, right? I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, bro. The way I was looking, I'm the only thing that matters. Straight Little up. baby, I'm off juice. Quit asking. Quit asking, bro. Facts like that. What are some favorite? Uh, what are some? Features, cause I know you got Kill Switch on the track. Yeah, not, got, not on that one, but you know. What I'm I saying? got Kill Switch. I got I got a song with Hardini. How'd you link up with like them and stuff? 
Bro, it's weird because Hardini, I was talking to him about making a track before we made one. Mm-hmm. Um, and we we're going to make one. He was mm-hmm. fucking with me. He saw me as a young nigga who was really trying to do this music shit. Yeah. So he's just fucking with me. No That's charge, love. nothing. I, I, I never really, you feel me? Like, I, I kind of look up to niggas like that. Yeah. And uh, Hardini, I happened to come to Marvin's uh, studio one Shout time. Out Marvin. Yeah, I've been yeah, there. Yeah, Marvin Beats. I went to Marvin's one time and then I caught Hardini there. Ooh. We was already talking about making a song, so I was yeah. like, "What, nigga?" He had this one song. I was like, "Nigga, let me get on that." Yeah, and then he's, I hopped on it, and that's how the song was made. The story goes right there. Yeah. What about Kill Switch? Kill Switch. I just uh, tapped in with bro for a feature. Uh, this nigga wanted. Uh, he wanted. He he wanted to charge me for a feature. Yeah, I wasn't really tripping because that nigga's music is hard. Bro, I fuck for with real, him. Kill Switch. Does so uh, especially so now. actually, I was broke. I was broke as fuck. Yeah. And this nigga Javi gave me 150. Bro, Javi, a real one. Oh, God. Shout out to Javi. How does it make you feel to have someone that believes in you that much, bro? It feels good, nigga. I don't got yeah. nobody else like that. Yeah. Bro. It feels good. Yeah. This nigga literally, I told him what happened. Mm-hmm. He was like, what nigga, 150? Bow. Send yeah. it to me. You know what I'm saying? I got bro, the, That's real. I, I paid Kill Switch like 150 for a feature. He like plugged me. You yeah, know I, mean? I feel like my nigga low key needed some dough in his pocket, so he was. You know I mean, probably, but I I'm mean, too cold to charge for. A in the show, end, bro, kill switch it like that nigga's that hard. Yeah, and yeah, he, yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a he's a he's a San Diego. He's a like, Dago legend. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. He's basically yeah, yeah, yeah. bro, him yeah, and Ole. Painting and shit and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga cold, bro. Oh. For real, man. So how many videos do you have out? Because I was trying One. to look. Yeah, exactly. I was trying to look. Any reason? why? I need to get some more. Yes, you do. I yeah, do. bro, because that gives you like better exposure and People stuff like that. People want to see man. visuals. Exactly. They want to see yeah. movies, dog. And it's a lot of dick writing ass <laughs> niggas out there who not gonna fuck with me unless I post a video. Mm, you feel that me? is true. Yeah, a lot man. of niggas. You feel me? They they, yeah. they want to see videos. I post the video, then all of a sudden, nigga, that shit was hard. Nigga, where was you at when I was just posting this? That little is quick true. SoundCloud, bro. That is true. You do got a lot of buzz, and you like, like you say you got one, but your SoundCloud numbers like they speak very highly. Yeah, I was I be, like, I be, I be doing damn, my little Dougie. I be doing my little Dougie. No cap. Yeah, I know. How does yeah. it feel to be flexing on people like, bro? Like the way it happened is weird, nigga. My my songs got views. Yeah. I, I mean. Like spacious, that shit got like 18k. My song with Kill Switch got like almost 14k yeah, right now. Yeah, bro, for sure. Shit, bro. I don't know how it happened. I just posted songs and no tape out either, huh? No tape. No, no tape. No album. I'm thinking about doing that soon because uh, I got a whole bunch of songs on some uh, some more like levy devy hood love song that shows type you shit. more like than just a like the rapper like stuff. Yeah. Like you got some other sides of you that you want to expose to the exactly world and stuff like that. Exactly. Man, that's I weird. got a whole bunch of flows. Uh, Javi got a song I'll call it. I can't. Yeah, I'm not lying. That's what it's called, nigga. And on that song, we both did a different flow. Nice. I feel like I don't know. I don't know about your part, real, but on my part, it was really just to show niggas that we could hop on a different beat. Yeah. Just let niggas know. Do you ever feel like it gets boring? Like just rapping on like regular beats, the same beats, so you try to switch it up and stuff. That's the thing I never look at regular beats mm. the beats is hard I mean, yeah you gotta have a hard beat. but i'm saying like your flow okay yeah that's what i meant to say like your flow like you want to try some singing shit because you were just singing hello like yeah, stuff like yeah, that you know what i'm saying yeah. like if you might do I've some been doing shit that like. sometimes uh recently i've been trying to really really put more effort into the hooks because mm-hmm. before i'll be on some like straight bars I, i'll be like nigga i gotta make like a i gotta make like a I just I just hop in the booth and make a no hook mostly. That's yeah. what I would do. But now it's like nigga, I gotta make a hook because really, if you think about it, a lot of niggas know the hooks to songs mm-hmm. but don't know all the lyrics. Right. They just like the hook is super catchy, so I fuck with the song. Yep. So I'm like, nigga, I gotta make a hook that's catchy. Mm-hmm. So recently I've been trying to like make songs and make a catchy hook. Like the song me and Bad Habits and May, I try to make like a catchy hook. Like make sure what I say is clear so niggas when they hear it is they they memorize they memorize the lyrics and and they try to like, you know, that's the part they recite when they listen to my shit. How do you go about when you're asking for features and stuff like that? When I'm asking for features? Like, let's say like um, you you ask for someone for a feature, but yeah, like at the same time, y'all both fucking with each other. Like, does somebody Type have shit. to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like How? us both fucking with each other? Yeah. If we're both fucking with each other, then the song is green. Like, uh, we're going to make it. But um, honestly, uh. I like to sometimes, like there's a nigga named G Bino. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't even expect me to shout him out because that's how you feel me. But uh, there's a nigga named G Bino. I heard his shit. He hasn't been rapping that long. He's yeah. really hard. Right. I asked him to make a song. You feel me? Yeah. 
I don't remember. He might have asked me to make a song first. I don't remember. It don't matter. But I for surely wanted to make a song with bro. Yeah. And I was like, this nigga's hard and he has no he has no type of attention. And I was like, mm-hmm. but it don't matter. He's hard. Right. So I want to make a song with him. That's love. And then I got a lot of niggas who are garbage who asked me for features. And, yeah. and, and I hit him with the 200. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 200 a verse, 100 a hook. How's it feel when you, you're able to price that? And people pay because they're like, yeah, I gotta get him on a track, bro. Yeah. There's no. I only, had, a, I only had niggas. I only had a nigga pay for. Uh, I had niggas pay for features twice. Mm-hmm. I've only got paid for a feature twice, but there's a lot of niggas who tap in all the time. Yeah, uh, and then I'd be like, I tell them the feature price, and they'd be like, okay, for sure. I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna get back to you yeah, exactly, yeah. and then they never pay for a feature. How's it feel like? So do you just give them the feature because the bag, or do they gotta have like bars too? They gotta be like. I don't give a fuck about nigga. If you pay me for the feature, I'm gonna make your shit sound clean. Damn. Niggas gonna skip to my part. Right. Mm, but, facts. You feel That's me? True. But uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like yeah. It's a lot of garbage niggas hitting me up for asking for features, which is nothing wrong with being garbage. There's a lot to shit. There's a lot of shit to do in life besides music. You don't yeah. have to make music. Exactly. You can do something else and be good at it. Right. I don't get why niggas want to make music so bad. Hey, that's realism right there, bro. Yeah. You can't hate on the real. Yeah. Can't hate on the truth. For surely. Yeah, you got to take R.P. Draco, nigga. We know the truth. Oh, bro. (laughs) R.P. Oh, my God, dog. I was listening to Draco, and, like, not that many people were. Hit that buff bank. Yeah, I was excited as fuck when he got out of jail, bro. Yeah. Just for him to, like. Because that nigga's cold. Bro, for real, man. We know the truth. We know the truth. Straight up, bro. Straight <laughs> up. This is garbage. He's like, damn, bro. So, what? Fuck, bro. Oh, shit. We got to wrap it up real quick. Um, Any last thing? No, no, no. Hold on. Wait. What? Have you thought of a name for the tape yet? Like, the next tape I drop is on some, like, Lovey Devi shit, I think. Because mm-hmm. I made a lot of songs on some Lovey Devi shit. Right. Uh, shit, bro. I don't got no name. I feel like I got to make one on the spot. Nah, right nah, now. nah. Of course not. It's untitled, but it's going to come out. Yeah. That's all we know. Right now, I got two songs. Mm. I got to make like two more, and I'm going to drop like a four-song EP. That's mm. my plan. And uh, when I drop that four-song EP, it's going to be like some... It's going to be like... Five? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> he giving out his hand my brother's signs. brother's saying I should drop a five. You feel me? Five. Hella. Any last things... Before we wrap it up, bro, anything you want to say to your fans? So for the niggas who really support me, I appreciate it more than you think. Uh, like, I really appreciate that shit because I wouldn't be nobody without people who support the music. But then for the niggas who be dick riding and making, like, pages called Dego, shittiest rapper, and niggas who be hating on me, you niggas can suck a cock and get a fist to the face. Hello. And a oh fist bitch. to the face. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my laughs> hey, yo, that does it for us today. I appreciate you for coming through, man. That was real true. Coming out here, showing this love. You know what I'm saying? Straight yes, up sir. like that. As always, it was your boy, Alex G. Eddie on the camera. We got Habits. What's your name again, bro? F-O-E-J. F-O-E-J. Y'all make sure y'all check them out, too. Interviews coming soon. And, of course, no living out. We out, bro. We out. Whole lot of the way it's looking, I'm the only thing that matters. Lil' baby, I'm off juice, quit asking. I'm fabulous, a legend in the making. I'm getting baggage, nigga. What can you get the? I got asthma. The way it's looking, I'm the only thing that matters. Lil' baby, I'm off juice, quit asking. I'm fabulous, a legend in the making. I'm getting baggage, nigga. What can you get the? I got asthma. B- body bagging niggas with the hooks. It's the henny. Bad bitch fucking it up. She real pretty. Stop asking what I'm selling.